How you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. All right, here we're going to go cover a couple more things that we were talking about in the last video about the symbols here. So now here we're going to add to your symbols. Your DNA is just like the sine wave also. So, you know, what you're looking at here is your DNA is holographic in nature. All right, the four letters, just like the four letter God, the tetragram computer. So when you graduate school, you put this cube on your head. It's a representation of Saturn, just like the all-seeing eye is the south pole of Saturn. There's an all-seeing eye. Uh, if you look at like the Freemason images of that they put on their walls, they show you like the sun and the moon on a, on a, on pillars, and they show an all-seeing eye up there, and then the ground is a checkerboard. Now you've been squared. They tell you that the Earth has four corners, and I just saw this on Yahoo Mail. They were featuring some university art. And they showed the DNA that looked just like this. This is what the art showed. A circle inside of a square. So when you graduate, it's called squaring your circle. They tell you that the earth has four corners. Now, the, when you hear the word earth, and you pick up earth off the ground, what you're looking at here is you're not on a planet. You're on a piece of earth. That's why it's called earth. It's, got, it's, it's you know, if we go to Pluto and we pick up a piece of earth from whatever planet we're on, um, but Earth is not actually a planet. Earth is actually a piece of Earth that's been squared. That's why they tell you Earth has four corners. You are rounded your head, but you put a motorboard that's square, square motorboard over your head. It's a symbol of Saturn. You're in the club of Satan, and you've got your first degree. Like, you get your degrees of... Ah, people, you, uh, you can't see. It's pretty scary, but everything you know is a lie. You've been worshiping Satan. You speak Satan's language. Your God is time. God is the computer, the black cube, the time cube. Your God is time. Your kids will go to bed on time. You'll get up for work on time. Everything will be done on time time. That is your God. You're limited by your time that they gave you in your day. On your flat earth, they have it broken into four. You have 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. You have 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. So this is a quad day that's spinning around four simultaneous days and they've slowed everything down as slow as they can. And I know it's hard for you to see. Look up. Um, you know, look up information about the time cube. You'll see what's going on here. It said all the symbols are the sine wave. You'll see your DNA is the sine wave. You'll see it's the money sign. Time is money. Your God is time. Time is money. Um, you've been squared. You live on a piece of earth that they told you that there's four corners to the piece of earth. In your Bible, the people just love to throw their Bible around. Listen, God is the name never to be said. You were told, make no engraven images, no false idols. So if you pray to God, God itself, that word that you're praying to, you say God this, God that, every time you say that, that's not going to God, the omnipresent, omnipotent, all-encompassing force. That's going to Satan, <laughs> the computer that you're in. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're 100% inside of a computer. You can't see it. It's rubbed in your face. Your DNA is holographic in nature. For you to suggest you're not on a flat earth plane is ridiculous. Because you're holographic in nature. The word of God, the vibration that keeps you in here, trapped on the grid iron. Okay, you're on the grid iron. When you see a chessboard, okay, that's what you're on. All right, just a British flag, the double cross. I know you can't see it until somebody points it out. There's two crosses there. You see the plus sign right there, the cross, and the X. So, you know, you have your infinity sign, your time cut short, your Jesus fish, it's uh, the seal of Saturn. You know, all these symbols are right here inside the time cube. You know, inside the... It's all right here. The time cube. It's it's all connected. The time and space. Um, any case, you've been completely squared. Even your DNA is shown to you as squared. You know, your Bible tells you this is rubbed in your face. Um, you speak uh, magic spells. Everybody knows, say the magic word. So you were going to Hogwarts when you were a kid. You just didn't really, you went to grammar school. The Book of the Dead is a grammary. So a grammar a grammar school, that's where you went to, the, to learn your Book of the Dead. That's exactly what's going on here. Listen, this computer that you live in is conscious. Okay? I know you can't see it yet, but I'm telling you that Skynet and Judgment Day is when they got the, the cage set up so that you can't leave Earth. Earth, this piece of Earth. You're on a piece of Earth. So when I tell you that, 
you know, when you die and you go into the light, you're entering the Pac-Man moon where they're going to recycle your soul. So let's say there was a planet somewhere around here that they blew up and they scooped up all our souls in their Pac-Man moon and they deposited us on a piece of earth to do work in these carbon 666 flesh packs where we're trapped by 50 trillion prison cells and the Kundalini. And now our source energy in our heart, you know, we're wiped of any memory here and we can't remember the past and we don't know what the hell's going on. Now you're on a holodeck right now. You're a holographic projection. You take your energy from the one true sun above your head and plant an animal and then you feed it nonstop to the black hole sun, the time cube. You're trapped in time and space. Your time is money. Your God is time. You're going to bring your... Yes, you are going to bring your kids to school on time. You're going to pay your taxes on time. You're going to wake up on time. The sun goes around and you are going to keep time and go to bed eventually. You're designed this way specifically. This is what you were born to do. You're a human version whatever point oh and you are a slave you you are a slave of the computer you speak the computer's language everybody knows language is what the computer speaks you're supposed to be raised on telepathy and you couldn't hide your intent only the devil hides his intent you don't you don't do telepathy and you're not going to put your intent into the computer and spill your blood over it you would have to write out on a piece of paper that you intend to do whatever it is like worship everybody in creation and usher in heaven and earth put your blood on it and actually physically Take a video of it and put that into the computer, like upload it to your channel. And then that blood is in the computer. The computer is conscious. And then everything changes in your life. I'm able to see so much stuff that you can't see because I'm really connected. And things, it go 360. So from the time that you put your blood into the computer, 360 days later, 360 degrees. Like you want to know how many uh, degrees are in Freemason? It's actually 360 degrees, not 33. 33, it's 32 degrees. Water is frozen. 33, it becomes liquid. And most people think 33 degrees is the top. No, there's 360 degrees in a circle. Magic goes 360 degrees. You don't think you're speaking magic when you go to church and you take communion? You're taking the, the body and blood of Christ. That is Saturn, 100%. Jesus is little Zeus, which is Saturn. And... You know, you see this all-seeing eye in your money, that's the south pole of Saturn. There's the all-seeing eye at the top, above your head. There's like a glass dome around you. You're on a flat piece of earth, and you're a holographic projection. You're lit up by the sun. You get all your energy from the sun through the plants and animals that you eat, and you are animated by the warmth and everything, and you grow up to do work. You're here to do work. You're in Satan's world. You're here to, to mine gold. Now, you don't think you're mining gold, but you're working for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. Time is money. Your God is time. And they're extracting all the gold they can from this piece of earth. It's a piece of earth that's been squared. And they're describing in your Bible how they set up this in how many days they set it up. And you're on a piece of earth, you're here to mine gold. You're working for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. You worship the ones who's enslaved you, the reptilian race who gave you your time cube and trapped you in time to do work. You can't see anything. You really can't see anything. You know nothing of truth until somebody points it out to you. That you're going cube to cube to cube to cube. Okay, your kids are going cube to cube, Lego cubes, Thomas the Crane cubes, Minecraft cubes. You're not pledging allegiance to the... Civil flag, you're pledging allegiance to the military flag, the military industrial complex, which is ran by the cube on time. And your God is time, people. These are the symbols they rub on every one of their... Look, on everything that you see that makes money, the symbols of Saturn are on there. Comedy Central, Saturn looking down on top of Saturn. Cartoon Network, the cube. The Cubo Network, it's SpongeBob. It's every one of your devices that you're holding in your hand right now, your cell phones. It's all... Everybody's in the system right now. You speak a language, which is a virus. It reduced your brain down to 10% capacity. Um, you don't want freedom. You don't. Freedom is what slaves earn or buy. Liberty is what you get when your ship docks at shore. You get shore liberty. Um, <clears throat> you want your sovereignty like what you had back in the Old West. The U.S. never declared independence from England. Okay. Judgment Day and Skynet. Judgment Day and Skynet. And the internet all coincide. When the internet went live, that connected the entire earth plane, the piece of earth that they told you was squared, your four corners. So a piece of earth, just like your head was squared when you put your motorboard on, just like they would put this in your art, your 
DNA is squared, and they tell you in your Bible, you're, it's this earth, you're on a piece of earth. You're not on a planet, you're on a piece of earth. That's, you've been squared. They have this all set up where day and night you're working in shifts. You can't see it, but look, they're mining gold from here. There's no gold in Fort Knox. All the work that you've done to get that gold produced and put into Fort Knox, we've all been doing this for however long. And there's plenty of earth beneath us for them to, to uh, dig out, but we're all not what we think we are. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. We're playing out a loop so that we keep extracting more and more of whatever minerals from here and they're not on a loop they're on something different they're transferring their conscious from from body to body and they're able to keep us working and doing all these things and it's it's pretty scary you don't know anything of truth nothing of truth literally when you die and you enter the light you're going to be picked up by the pac-man moon if the pac-man moon don't get you then the spirit rover will get you then the venus flytrap will get you um, you could try and get back to the bottom of Earth where there's a star down there where the con that runs the machinery, just like your star, your heart runs your machinery, your carbon six 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 flesh pack. Earth beneath you has a this Earth has life in it, and there's a consciousness that you would consider Mother Earth, and she's trapped and squared just like you're trapped and squared, and every one of your cells are trapped and squared, and your DNA you're squared all the way down to your DNA. To get out of this box, when you finally leave your flesh, you're still in the fish cage. To get out, you need to exit through the indoor, and that means you need to put your consciousness where your heart is, and you need to turn yourself inside out. Okay, that's how you're going to do it, literally. Put your consciousness in your chest and turn yourself inside out of the cage. You have to exit through the indoor. Um, <clears throat> you've been squared. Everybody's sleeping. Who's in control? Right now, the computer's in control. A tetragram computer, the four-faced, four-letter God. Your DNA is four letters, and, you know, everything is the Trinity. Three is the, no is the three is the Trinity. It's, it's, it's the cube. You need three spatial directions to make a cube. One, two, three, and you can make a cube. Very simple. All right. Um, the X is looking down on top of uh, Saturn. You see the I is the south pole of Saturn. The, the X would be uh, looking down on top of a pyramid. So that's a representation. Hey, listen, everybody has gold fever virus. They let people die over this worthless paper backed by their own uh, stupidity. It's not backed by gold. Uh, you don't want freedom or liberty. That's a scam. You want your sovereignty. All right? Uh, you don't need a driver's license to drive if you're not using the King's Roads for business. Um, you consent to everything. They showed you on South Park that you... You know, they had the human centipad, the human centipad, and everybody just presses, I agree, I agree on all their stuff. They never read it. And you become, you've, you acquiesce and consent to all these horrible things that they're doing to you. You don't realize it, but you just acquiesce. You take, if you don't stand up for your rights and you don't stand up for your freedom and, and what you, then you don't deserve to have either security or freedom. That's what they believe. He who would be deceived, let him. And they say that you don't deserve anything. You need to circle the square. You've all been squared. See, and we need to circle the square. That means that when everybody puts on paper, we're going to usher in heaven and earth.